I really struggle to imagine a scenario where even if I may not totally love the player, Brad Holmes selects somebody that is going to be a complete whiff this high in the draft. He didn't whiff on Panay. He didn't whiff on Aiden. I don't expect him to whiff on six. Jameson Williams right now, it's not the best start to anybody's career. I think it's fair to be concerned. And not even just concerned, but more so just disappointed. Like, what the hell? We thought the world of you. We accepted you weren't going to be here for the first year. And now this. It's not ideal. Not the best start. But I still think Jameson Williams is going to come back and hopefully ball out for the Lions. So, yeah, I, I trust the GM. And I think that's the biggest X factor in whether we talk about Bijan at six, a quarterback, Tyree Wilson, Jalen Carter, character issues, trading back. What? I'm good. You know, last year was draft of cocaine and it was excitement, but stress because you could not afford to mess up the draft last year. And they didn't. Oh, and they, last, they landed an all-rookie safety in the third round. Thank you, guys. Love you. Keep doing that, please. I'm not saying Brad Holmes is going to swing 100% in the first round. But so far, he's done a pretty damn good job with this first pick in each first round. I think he's going to be fine in this one, regardless of who the player is. Mm -hmm. Whether it is a corner, whether it is a quarterback, whether it is a defensive tackle, whether it's the defensive tackle you want or somebody else may want. I'm good. I have a lot of confidence. If I'm the Bears and I'm picking at six, I'm shitting myself. If I'm the Cardinals right now, I have a new GM. I, I don't know. I don't know how he is. He's new. I don't have any track record. GMs get fired every year. I think this GM is one of the 10 best in the NFL. NFL.com ranks him as the seventh best. So for all the draft talk and the speculation and the pessimism and the optimist, uh, optimistic people in the room, for whatever it's going to be, you got the GM that's going to make the right choice, no? And if he doesn't, okay, not everybody makes the right choice. Now, depending on how flagrant it is, right? Like, drafting Jeff Okuda is fucking unacceptable and fireable offense. Drafting Jalen Carter and him not working out for off-the-field issues? People are going to question you. Like, you knew this. But if he doesn't work out, but he, you never hear a peep off the field, that just... It's odd. It's a weird data point, right? And then you look at the last 10 years, you're like, all the guys that went in the top five, 70% of them didn't work. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> well, it's good for you this year because you're picking six, right? right? So imagine likely three teams are gonna miss in the top five and hopefully somebody falls to you. Maybe that's the case. Or maybe somebody takes a player that people are pressuring you to take so you can take your guy and nobody can say anything about it. Who knows? That's where I'm at. I'm yeah. just I'm good with Brad Holmes. You know what? I, I don't really have any doubts. There are a few players that I'll probably freak out about, but even then, I just he's got a track record so far. I think they're good enough to win the North. I'm not gonna sit here and and lose my shit like last year.